Hey Leo, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a person reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. All right. So what I'm getting here is um, clearly this was a one-sided situation. Is what I'm getting here. Okay. Someone was not uh, ready to have that peace, harmony, that equal give and take out here. Definitely someone out here took advantage of you, Leo. You've ended the connection. You've ended your uh, connection, your relationship with this person out here, okay? For you, it's like a flat out no. Because how they view you is the ace of swords. So they view you as someone, you know, like, like a very double-edged sword here. It can create, it can destroy. But out here, I feel more than creating. You're creating something new in your life. You want a brand new beginning. But with the clarity that you don't want this person in your life anymore. You realize and you know that this person has unfinished business with you and you do realize that this person does not want to end the cycle with you, okay? They want to keep the cycle going. This person could be very, very bad at completions, okay? This person usually has a habit of not completing projects out here or not completing or not finishing something, okay? So this person has a bad habit of keeping things unfinished. They usually repeat the same pattern here and uh, when they're very close to completing something, right, that's when they back off. So it could be someone very impatient out here because I see over the night of wands, you have this person, someone who wants to get things done yesterday. And I feel uh, to make a relationship very, very successful, you've got to have patience, you've got to have that um, persistence, okay? And that's something that this person lacks. And ultimately, you gave and gave and gave to the relationship here. All you wanted to do is balance things out and you were always there for this person, okay? You wanted a home environment, you wanted commitment, you wanted marriage you wanted something stable out here but this person refused to do that because this person's coming off as someone very in and out of your life because of which you had to just get just get things done once and for all out here right now the reason for the reading of the root of the issue here is the two of pentacles here you're dealing with someone who's very emotional very sensitive okay but this person out here has a very hard time making decisions very indecisive very diplomatic is also what I'd say. They're always weighing off their pros and cons, okay? They're not being able to give you the entire love and attention that you require, okay? So it was always you with something else, okay? They were always trying to balance things out with you and something else. You, on the other hand, gave your 100% to this person, whilst this person out here probably kept you in the, uh, you know, they kept you in the last list of the priority, what did I just say? They just keep you in the backhand, okay? Whilst you out here gave their gave them your hundred percent. And now the problem here is that this person is probably kind of trying to come in and balance things out here. You could be in two minds that this person also wants to come towards you, but I feel that now this person wants to get a balance out here, okay? They probably gave too much importance or too much focus to another uh, another situation, not a relationship. Could be juggling you with two people, but I think now they want to get that balance out here, okay? They were not being fair in the past is what I'm getting. Now they want to be fair, yeah? But they definitely view you as someone who's cut them off completely, okay? And you're pretty much okay to start a new beginning somewhere else or just cut them off completely and not want them in their life. This person comes off as an action coming off as very codependent. Okay, this person has that very lack mindset out here. Uh, I think this person does not set very realistic goals out here and realistic targets. Okay, and um, this person needs constant motivation, you know, and that reinforcement to keep them on the right track. Okay, in this connection, and every single time you have to keep lifting it up, like you know what, this is a connection, let's do this together. You're always the one pushing the relationship, pushing it to the next level, trying to take things to a, trying to take this connection to a safer place out here. And now you're fed up here. So the star in reverse here. You've given up hope, faith, everything. You, you're you're pretty fed up out here. You could have given this relationship a lot of importance. You were more emotionally involved and overindulging in this relationship, okay, because of which is why there was a lack of balance on your side here. And anyways, like I said, right, you have no trust here and faith that this connection will work out. Almost like the universe is trusting your faith in this connection, whether you crumble like a tar or whether you stand tall, okay? So that's going to be up to you. But with the outcome here is the king of cups here. I feel this person now has a lot of love for you. They may come off as someone very flighty, but this person does have a lot of love for you. They want that emotional connection with you. But this person I'm seeing is coming off as someone who's either been very hurt badly in the past due to a past relationship because of which this person has trust 
issues. And that's why they're still emotionally stuck on the past. They're not being able to forgive what happened in the past with someone else. They haven't healed. Or there's something that happened within this relationship which they can't really forgive. Hence, this person was coming up for someone, you know, who was just not ready to change. Very rigid, okay? This person's like a box. No matter how much you try to change this person, this person refuses to change. And when this person refuses to change, all you can do is let this person go, right? You cut things off because there was a lot of resistance from their side, not letting go of old patterns, negative patterns, old way of thinking, right? So you just had to let this relationship go and that was the end of it. But with the King of Cups, I feel this person now has a lot of love for you and um, still not taking action, but the emotions, are, they're getting there with the emotions slowly but steadily, okay? So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates.